Hello everybody, welcome to Core 2 OCR January 2012 paper and we're going to be looking at the final question which is question 9. Now if you read this question you see that the question wants us to do some trigonometry, okay, solving some trig equations. Now if you look at our range for x, you notice it's between minus 2 pi and 2 pi. That means that we are in radians. So if your calculator isn't already in radians, at the start of this question would be a good time to change its radians. If we read the question, it wants us to sketch the graph of y equals tan of a half x. Okay. It provides a set of axes, but it is still just a sketch. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, if we think about the original tan x graph, what it does is it has asymptotes at minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. So it would have been coming up like this and obviously repeating periodically. Now, because it's a half x as opposed to just tan x, what we need to do is actually stretch in the x direction by the reciprocal of a half. So it's going to be stretching in the x direction by a scale factor of 2. So that purple line was our working out. Now we're going to stretch it out. And for our real line, our asymptotes are going to be at minus pi. And that was a bit of a dodgy line, so let's try again. And pi. Okay. So when we draw our graph in, looks like that, and it repeats here and coming up here okay so that's tan of a half x now it says on the same graph sketch y equals 3 cos of a half x so our original graph of cos x has had two transformations applied i'm going to take this opportunity to tell you a quick trick about how to tell the difference between the graphs of cos x and sin x okay so here's a little snowboarder he's waiting on the y-axis to try and snowboard and if he's on the cos graph he can snowboard down it so you can remember cos is cool because you can snowboard down it okay now imagine if he was trying to snowboard down sin x which is the other one which starts at zero he'd be stuck okay so cos x you can snowboard down cool sine x you can't so usually cos x starts at one now because we're timesing by three it's going to be stretched in the y direction with a scale factor of three so in actual fact it's going to be crossing at three now we have the same transformation that we applied to tan x graph, whereas we are doing a half x. So we are timesing in the x direction by a half. Okay. So this graph would usually be crossing here at pi over 2 and have its minimum point at pi. Okay. So our stretch graph is actually going to cross here at pi and start to turn here at um, 2 pi and obviously it's symmetrical so the green line is our graph of y equals 3 cos a half x it's always good practice to label your graphs okay so that's y equals tan of a half x and the green line is y equals 3 cos of a half x Okay, and that's three marks. Question two asks us to do a little bit of algebra. Okay, and it says starting with tan over half x, which can be written as x over two, equals three cos x over two. We need to show it can be expressed like this. In a show that question, it's basically saying, here's your answer, you have to get to it. Okay. So we have to know, use anything we know about trigonometry in core two to get to that line. 
you should know two main equations in terms of trig. The first one is tan of an angle equals sine of that angle over cos of that angle. The other one is that sine squared theta of any angle plus cos squared the same angle equals 1. So I would write those at the top of your question for you to use. The only one we can use at the minute is the one to do with tan. So remember, our angle here is x over 2. So this is the same as sine x over 2 over cos x over 2. And that equals the right hand side, 3 cos x over 2. What we're going to do now is times up by this cos x over 2, which gives us sine x over 2 equals 3 cos squared x over 2. Now we're at an opportunity to use this expression. Okay. Now if you transform this equation, you get that cos squared of an angle equals 1 minus sine squared of the angle. So the next line we can write is that sine x over 2 equals 3, and we're substituting in now um, 1 minus sine squared theta. Okay. Now you expand your brackets, running out of space on this one, so I'm going to just save a bit of space and expand like this. So it is 3 minus 3 sine squared theta okay now all we have to do is one more step to put everything on the same side of the equation to get our answer so in your working out you would do one more line i'm wary of space so i'm going to just write over the top of this one okay but you can see what we did we still have to fit quite a lot of work in on our next question so that's why i've just rub that out okay so now it says hence solve the equation um, tan of a half x equals three cos of a, a half x okay so if you think back to a graph we drew we are finding these two x values okay because it says solve for x now if you look at our range we have the x is between minus 2 pi and 2 pi. Now, the angle that I want us to be thinking about is x over 2. So we're going to transform our limits. So if x is between minus 2 pi and 2 pi, if we divide that equation by 2 or that inequality by 2, we get the condition that x over 2 is greater than or equal to minus pi and less than or equal to pi, okay? <laughs> now, this is a disguised quadratic. If we let y equal sine of x over 2, this blue equation becomes 3y squared plus y minus 3 equals 0. So in your exam, you would attempt to factorize that and you'd soon realize there are actually no ways to factor that. So what you would use is the quadratic formula. So you would get your calculator and you would work out that um, y equals minus b, which is minus one, plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so what you would do now is plug it into your calculator. We are running very short on space, you might have to go onto the next page. Okay, so you can do it at the same time as me now. Put this information into your calculator. And for the plus value, we get 0 0.847. 
and for the minus value we get minus 1.18 okay now the reason i worried about running out of space is because we're still not done okay because what we actually want to do is find the answers for um x okay so i'm going to just move down and apologize if you can no longer see the question now we have to substitute back that y is sine of x over 2. So we have the two possibilities, that sine of x over 2 equals 0.847, or sine of x over 2 equals minus 1.18, OK? Now remember, we're in radians already. Now what I want you to do is keep thinking of this as your angle, OK? We've already changed the boundary conditions to get x over 2 between minus pi and pi. So that is where we're looking for these values of our angle. Now, if we do sine to minus 1 of 0.847, let me just figure that out in my calculator. Then we get our angle is 1.01 radians okay or from this one if we do sine to minus one of minus 1.18 give me a second there's no solutions there okay if your calculator gives you a math error, then that means there's no solutions. So the only case that we're interested in is this case. Now we think about our sine graph. Remember how we distinguish? It's not cool. You can't snowboard down it, so it's the one that starts at zero. Okay? There's pi over two. There's pi. There's two pi. Now we are looking for answers for this angle that are between minus pi and pi. So just need to extend this graph. Okay. That's minus pi over two. That's minus pi. So if we look from this that um, x over two equals 1.01, .01, if you think about pi as a number is 3.14 something. So pi over 2 is 1.57, etc. So that means that our 1.01 is somewhere in this region. And hence the two answers that we're looking for are these two. Okay. So the one answer that we've got is 1.01. .01. The other possibility is pi take away 1.01 .01, which is going to be 2.1315 okay now if you remember we're trying to solve x we currently have x over 2 so all you need to do now is times by 2 so x equals 2.02 or 4.26 and that's the three significant figures thank you for watching the video i hope you followed that it is quite a difficult question uh, please like comment subscribe and see you again soon thank you